Domestic violence can be tough to talk about, especially for victims who aren't sure how to escape an abusive situation. Welcome back at 530 everyone. I'm Ellie Merritt and I'm Dwayne Pullman. October is Domestic Violence Month, a time dedicated to helping those who have been or are currently being abused. It's a topic that is at the forefront right now here in Columbus. That after Jacob Ferrero confessed to killing his girlfriend, 22 year old Samantha Greenlee. Police had been called to that couple's apartment before because of a, a domestic disturbance, but no charges were filed. Violent situations can be difficult for victims to escape. Liz Adeola spoke to a woman who nearly died at the hands of an abuser. There's no way I should be alive today. There's no explanation but God himself. He had kicked me in the head so many times that it just, it started a brain bleed and uh, I was unconscious and that's how my mother found me. This was the first time Marquia Phipps' boyfriend attacked her in 2008. These scars on her arm and forehead, scars she calls battle wounds, reminders of the last attack in 2013. My forehead split open. I almost died the first time, so I knew the potential of what was happening. And I knew that he was trying to take my life. Fib says at that moment she knew she had to flee, not just for her life, but to break the cycle for her children who had witnessed the brutal attack. Detective Jeff Ratliff with the CPD Domestic Violence Unit says it's a silent epidemic that is growing in Columbus. I think there's a lot of a lot of domestic violence that we don't we don't know about and we know about a lot. In the last few days, he's handled at least five felony domestic violence cases. It's not about love or jealousy, it's about power and control. A power Phipps took back as her body healed from the attacks. And I know every woman out there, if she's been hit once, twice, she survived that. She survived that. She's not a victim and you don't have to be a victim. You you know, we make decisions to choose to stay, to go, to stand up and walk away. And, you know, my kids have been, they've been the reason for that. Motivation to walk away, yet still speak out about her story to try and save others. You tried to break me. You tried to make me so that I was no good for nobody, but you only made me stronger. So grateful that she was able to share that story of survival. Now, Marika Phipps, uh, her case goes to trial next month. Her boyfriend is out on bond at this moment, but she does have an order of protection against him. To learn more about how you can support domestic violence awareness, you can head on over to my Liz Adiola Facebook page. All right, Liz, thank you.